This is a sneak peek of Nancy Larson Homeschool Science. When you receive Nancy Larson, you will receive a hands-on kit, a teacher's manual, student materials, reading materials, a teacher um, CD resource, excuse me, a teacher resource CD, and um, some photo cards, which we will take a look at here in just a moment. Uh, the Nancy Larson Science is kindergarten through fourth grade. However, depending on um, how long you've been homeschooling and what concepts or skills you've already taught in science, I do believe that a third grader could possibly take the fourth grade science or the second grade science, depending on what concepts um, are being taught in those grades. Same with a, a, like a fourth grader could take the third grade science. Um, and then even a fifth grader, if you really like this program, could take the fourth grade science and be just fine. Um, you can manipulate the lessons to be at a higher level or a lower level. Really, it's you want to look at the concepts being taught. Again, if you have been homeschooling for quite a while, and um, like for example, this this uh, third grade science has a lot to do with the frogs and reptiles and amphibians. Well, if that's an area you've already covered and you don't want to go through that again, then you might want to look at the level below or the level higher and see if that might fit your guys' um, skill set. Okay, with that said, let's take a look. When you receive the um, homeschool kit, you will receive a lot of hands-on materials, as you can see here. Uh, very nice informational books about the frogs and the amphibians. Um, there's some real nice manipulatives, some toy frogs there. You've got your sand, your rocks. Um, again, anything that you need in the lesson coming up is going to be provided for you. So there may be a few instances where you might have to run to the kitchen for um, a consumable item, but everything, uh, the curriculum claims that everything you need is going to be in the kit for each lesson. Let's take a look at the teacher's manual to begin with. <clears throat> So the Nancy Larson Science is broken up into 80 lessons. So that's roughly, um, you know, one to two lessons of science a week. Now for kinder, first and second grade, that's probably just fine. But if you're in third, fourth, or fifth grade, I would suggest that you may need to supplement and add in um, a few of your own uh, fun ideas to <clears throat> make your science extend through, um, you know, three to four days. We recommend for third, fourth, and fifth grade that science be done three to four days a week for 45 to 60 minutes. So, um, let's look at a basic lesson plan. It's always going to start you off with the things you need, so that's nice. And then the lesson is actually scripted for you. So if you wanted to, you could follow exactly what it suggests being said, or you can take some time to look over the lesson uh, beforehand, the night before, read what is being said, and then just present the information in your own uh, language if you want. So one way you can extend the lesson is, and it tells you right here, there, uh, there's a lesson review and it does say that the lesson review can be completed on the same day or it can be completed on the following day. So that could be one way you extend this is just do the main lesson one day, the next day do the lesson review, and then the third day go into uh, the the following lesson. 
Also at the end of each lesson, it gives you your answer keys. So I thought that was nice because you don't have to go searching for them. So that's the basic structure of the parent guide and how a lesson plan is laid out. Um, and then one other thing I just wanted to mention in the, uh, in the parent guide, there's also in the back, um, ha it has a template for science word lists and you'll see reference to science words throughout each lesson. So that's where you would find a template for those. Then we've got our student uh, material, our workbook. Um, the workbook pages, again, just go along with the lesson of the day. And so you have your um, your worksheet that you fill out of the information that you learned. And that's really all there is to that. So your basic basic worksheet student workbook. Finally, you have your readings. They supply their own reading books. So if you're exploring the solar system, Here's where you would find <clears throat> your information. And again, another way to extend this is to go to the library, have your child pick out a whole bunch of books about the solar system. Um, maybe they choose their favorite planet and you know write their own essay about it or make a model or you know anything um, you can Google. <laughs> you'll if you Google solar system, you'll find tons of tons of ideas, I'm sure. So again, all your reading material is going to be supplied for you. And then last, I just wanted to show you this. Um, it comes with some very nice, sorry for the glare, um, picture cards. <clears throat> I thought that was neat. Um, pictures say a thousand words and I know kids love pictures so that was cool and then here's the CD I was referring to a teacher resource CD and they just say that you can find um, more worksheets or uh, more supplemental ideas um, you know extension activities all on the resource CD if you want to check into that so that is Nancy Larson Science. If this looks like a curriculum that interests you and you'd like to talk more about it, please give me a call. Star Williams at 503-758-3636.